Hello friends, let's look at this interesting problem. We have been given triangle ABC in which we have AB equals to 2 times of AC and AD is given as 100. We have to calculate the value of BC. Now to solve this problem what we will do? Through C we draw a line parallel to AD and we will extend BA to cut this line at E. Now we can see that we have two parallel lines as we did the construction. So we can easily find out the angles of triangle ACE Yes, we know that in parallel lines corresponding angles are equal. We also know by linear pair or by angle at a straight line, angle on straight line is 180 degrees. So, we know angle at A is 60 degrees, angle at E is 60 degrees and left out angle at C is 60 degrees. Also, we know that AB equals to 2 times of AC. So, if AB is 2x, then AC will be x and AD is the angular bisector. So, we know that angular bisector divides the side in the ratio by which the angle is made. That means, BD by DC equals to AB by AC. Also, we can see that triangle ABD and triangle EBC are similar to each other by either AA similarity criteria or SAS similarity criteria. AA similarity criteria because we have angle B common and we have one angle which is equals to 60 degrees in BAD and BAC. SAS because we have 2x by 2y equals to 3x by 3y and angle B is common. So, we can see that these two triangles are similar to each other. So, we can write down the corresponding sides which are proportional. AB by EB equals to BD by BC equals to AD by EC. Now, what we need to calculate is Y value because we need to find out 3 times of Y which is BC. So, let us substitute the values. We have AB by EB that is 2x by 3x equals to BD by BC that is 2y by 3y equals to AD 100 divided by EC. Can we say that 2 by 3 equals to 100 divided by E C or E C equals to 150. Once we got E C equals to 150, we know that E C is also equals to 150. Yes, E C E is an equilateral triangle. So, let us go to triangle A D C and try to find out what is the value of D C then we know that BC equals to 3 times of DC. In triangle ADC, by applying law, law of cosines, we have DC square equals to AD square plus AC square minus cos of DAC, which is 100 square plus 150 square minus 2 into 100 into 150 into cos of 60 degrees. Simplify that to calculate the value of y, then we can get BC equals to 3 times of y. So, y square equals to 10,000 plus 22,500 minus cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, we have 15,000 minus 15,000. Simplify that, we will get y square equals to 17,500. So, BC is equals to 3 times of CD or DC which is equals to 3 times square root of 17,500. Square root of 100 is 10 and square root of 25 is 5. 
So, we can write it as 3 into 5 into 10 into root 7 or 3 into 50 into root 7 or 150 root 7. So, B c is equals to 150 root 7. Now, this problem can be solved in more than one method and this is one of the method I have used to solve this problem. So, please let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.